A group of uh, commercial dog walkers are expressing their frustration with a new policy that bans them from operating in a downtown dog park. The ban in Ramsden Park took effect last week, and the group of dog walkers has launched a petition calling for it to be reversed. CTV's Natalie Johnson has been following this story and joins us live with more details. Natalie. Hi, Nathan. This is a temporary ban that applies only to commercial dog walkers in the off-leash area of Ramsden Park here. And it comes in the wake of a number of complaints from local residents about the noise that has been created by people and dogs in the off-leash area, as well as the effects on parking in the area, which is already arguably fairly scarce. This comes as the city is conducting a citywide review of the rules for dog parks in various parks across the city. As of right now, some of these parks are open to commercial dog walkers and others are not. Councillor Diane Sachs, the councillor for this ward, asked council in June to temporarily ban commercial dog walkers from this particular park until that review is complete. Local dog walkers, though, are furious at this move. They have started a petition calling for this ban to be reversed, saying they were not consulted, but they do think there is a compromise to be reached here. We started the petition after, I think, a really knee-jerk reaction from uh, City Council, where very quickly they um, banned us from the dog park we've been using for, like, 25 years. Um, and uh, the petition is, uh, we're trying to make a compromise in the petition. So they're trying to ban us completely from the park, and we're trying to tell them that we're only here really from 10 to 3, Monday to Friday, like most most days, and um, that we would like to continue using the park from 10 to 3. There are no other dog parks around here for us to use. Dog walking has become a, a bit of a necessity more than a luxury to a lot of Canadian households. And certainly the people in the area uh, require their dogs to go out during the day and go to the dog parks and do their business and socialize and whatnot. And to take this away from them is, uh, is horrible. I mean, you know, they're, they're tax-paying citizens. This is their community dog park. Uh, they should be allowed to use it. I was chatting with Councillor Diane Sachs about this issue this morning. She says she recognizes that there is a sharp division on this issue between the people who live in and around this park uh, and the people who use the off-leash area. She wants to stress that dog owners can take their dogs to this dog park. It is just the commercial dog owners who take multiple dogs at a time who are affected by this temporary ban. She understands that the full review will come back in the first quarter of next year. So as of now, this ban does continue subject to review early next year. Reporting live, I'm Natalie Johnson. Back to you, Nathan and Michelle. Thank you, Natalie.